Hey, what is going on, guys? You guys are watching Tech Kids here, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the button passcode, or if it's your iPad disabled, of your no home button iPad. As you guys can see here, I do not have a no home button iPad. Like, no home button, I actually don't have one. I only have a home button iPad. Let's just pretend this iPad. Ha is a no home button iPad. So let's just say you forgot the passcode and your iPad is disabled and you don't, there's nothing you can do. So I'll show you how to, how to, you know, like get, get this screen out of here like that, like remove it and yeah. Let me tell you some important things first. One important thing, let me just put in the same one. One important thing is that this will erase all your data. So it will erase all your pictures, videos, photos, as if you bought your no home button iPad brand new and took it out of the box. And, and yeah, and yeah. One more important thing is that, that this may take a long time to do it. So it may take one hour, two hours, whatever. It's still normal and that's okay. And you guys can see I do have a home button iPad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry is like, I'm sorry if I don't have a no home button iPad, but I don't know why, but I wanted to get one, but it's, I couldn't, I, I didn't have enough money, so I decided to just use my home button iPad to do this, but that's okay, because the process is not same, because the important part is that if you have a home button iPad, there's another video, I'll put a link, link like a little card up there, so you guys can, you know, like, see the video and stuff like that. And the only thing that's different is how to boot it in recovery mode. That's the important part. So let me show you right now, but right after I show you something else. So first we'll, we'll need a computer and your cable. So this is the important part. The new iPad Pro uses USB-C. You may have to get a, a, a type A to USB-C cable because that does not come in the box with your computer or you guys can use a windows computer or mac if you guys have a, like a newer mac and windows computer you guys can just use a usb-c usb-c which comes in the box with your ipad and yeah right now here i'm using the windows computer and the reason why i'm on this screen is because we want to download the soft like the the firmware manually if you download it with if you download it automatically this is what's going to happen sometimes it'll take a long time and then your ipad will come out of recovery mode and, and show that same screen again so trust me this will work just download it manually manually so i'll have this you have to go to this website called ipsw.me and let me show you here okay just press okay you'll get this screen choose a product I'll choose iPad and scroll down. If you don't know your iPad model, go to this website right here called here supportapple.com. Have a link in the description for both websites. Trust me, they will work. So my iPad's actually a fifth generation, so fifth generation Wi-Fi. Click on it. I already downloaded the firmware, so I don't need to download it again. And right now. And after it'll take like 20 minutes to download it, but that's okay. It's normal. It, it took me like 21 minutes. But guys, for now, now I already da have downloaded. So what we're going to do is, is put your iPad in recovery mode. And that's the manual step. I have two ways to put it in recovery mode. One way is plug in your cable first. Do this. So you don't. You're going to use the power button and the volume button. So you're going to do volume up. Uh, press and release the volume up. Press and release the volume down, and then press and hold the power button until you see the recovery mode screen. Screen. Another way is you can plug it in your cable while pressing on the home, I mean power button, and keep holding, keep holding until you see the recovery mode screen. Let me just put this in recovery mode, and I'll show you. Okay, so this is the screen you guys can see. If it's a cable point to the iTunes logo, that's okay, same thing. And next, you'll need a computer, of, of course, and you need to open iTunes. If you're using a Mac, you, you already have iTunes downloads. Using a Windows like me, you have to open iTunes right now. And if you're running Mac OS Catalina on a Mac or a Windows, like it, on a Mac usually, if you're running Mac OS Catalina, you have to open Finder. It should be like pretending this is a Mac OS can. It should be like in this little corner over here, the last option, like app here, example, and here. So right now on iTunes, there's a screen showing there is a problem with the iPad. 
iPad that requires to be updated and restored. So, so what we're going to do is we need to restore it, but we need to cancel it because because we, we need to select that firmware we downloaded. How we do that, we're going to do this. Press on, so we're going to press the store iPad, but while pressing on it, we're going to hold the shift key if you're using Windows, option key if you're using Mac. So let me just do that. And this screen will show, and uh, and this is, the one, this is the one I downloaded, so just click on it, and then press open for Mac, same thing. And then this, and then this, Screen will show iTunes will erase and restore your iPad to iPad OS 14 and Pro. Yeah, okay. Later, and then press restore and wait. So I think I already downloaded the firmware on my iPad, so it should be extracting the software. Yeah, let me come back after downloads is done. Guys, this may take a long time, and one more extra tip never unplug this cable nor touch your iPad. If you touch your iPad right now, it may cause some damage to it, or like, it'll take a long time, well, yeah, what, well, just don't touch your iPad, okay? So, yeah. Now my iPad has a status bar, and we set it. Now my iPad has a status bar, and yeah. Very important, not to touch your iPad, nor your cable, because maybe your iPad disconnected, maybe. So this is very important. If your iPad comes back to life, just do this. Wait until the download is finished, and then put your iPad back in recovery mode, like the volume, but put it back in recovery mode, just like I said. So don't worry, guys, it happens, so yeah. Now my computer says, your iPad has been restored to factory settings, and if you're setting, and yeah, please leave your iPad connected, remember, then just came back to the regular screen. So guys, if your iPad disconnected, it could be something wrong with your cable here. This I had this issue many times. So what happened is, is that like once I tried to fix the disabled iPad, the cable was broken. And what happened was I tried to fix it. It took me like, I don't know, two times, three times to like boot in recovery mode again and everything like that. So guys, check, make sure to get your like fixed cable. It could be your cable's old or anything. And yeah. Okay, so guys. My computer is showing the activation lock, and now my iPad, now I can just go ahead and set it up. So, guys, so, guys, from here, you just randomly, like, normally set up your iPad. This is part where if you have a backup, doesn't mean, I, I, I didn't mention this, so I'm sorry. If you have a backup, you can recover all your data from iTunes or iCloud, and yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys, and guys, any questions... Comment down below. And yeah, bye guys. See you later, guys.